Hey guys, my name is Mark. This is DC Modification. And man, I got a beautiful truck in here today. Look at this, isn't this awesome? This is a 589. This truck was built by um, Russ Truck Centers out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we've done quite a few of these uh, extended cabs. That's what we do here at DC Modification. So I'm gonna flip the camera and we're gonna get a little closer look at it. All right, so let's do a walk around on this. This truck does not have the visor. They will put their own visor on when it gets there. Probably one more stop. A lot of these trucks have another stop to have other things done to them. It's beautiful though. Big heavy hauler, big rear ends. So the extended cab is 10 inches and it's a low roof, a little different than the previous uh, 389s. They had the ultra high roof. So this is, I think, a lot more user friendly, especially for dump bodies, things like that. You don't need the height, you need the leg room. That is one, a one piece back wall, one main fiberglass unit. You can see up underneath here, I think I can show you. Right there, you can see the main the main body. And then these are trim. This is just trim and it stops right here. It comes around the corner, helps us trim it out. And then at the roof, up at the top, same thing. It's, it's fake on top to get you a nice clean look. Yeah, this is now the biggest cab in the lineup for Peterbilt for the 2.1 meter. So let's go in and check it out. All right, we'll go in and take a look at the inside. First thing, right out of the gate, we are moving the seat two inches back. And so there's a couple of different seat configurations. Um, this one, this one, I believe we're, we're rotating this plate. We're just spinning it around and it moves the seat back two inches. Some of the other seats we just drill um, a couple holes in these brackets and we move it back. So it's getting close to, that's the original back wall of the truck. And we leave that up, I don't know, 16 inches or so. You can see it right there. We leave it up. And so the seats will get real close to touching that. But then there is about 12 to 14 inches of recline in them. You can see it's a one piece headliner. We manufacture all the headliners here. And so we do all that, all that here. We move the plastic on the back wall back and then we split the upholstery and then we put our, we put a, pulse, a carpet back down to that tool storage. Let me see if I can get in there. There's a lot of stuff in there. Great for carrying a lot of, a lot of clothes and personal equipment. It's not moving around in the truck. Huge difference when you're driving this truck to be able to recline these seats. Let's see if I can recline this one. I'm going to go ahead and recline that one so you can see it. Okay, so I flipped it. Went ahead and moved the seat back. That's crazy, right? I mean, you could probably sleep in there. Get a nice nap if you need to, if you're chilling out, waiting on something. Because right here, that panel, we manufacture that panel. So this back wall was right here a couple inches behind that seat belt post. So that gives you a pretty good idea what's going on. I can't drive with it all the way back. I'm 5'11", but I'm driving with it almost all the way back. I'm sure they've got big headache wrecks. There's a lot more stuff to be done on this truck. They'll come straight from Peterbilt to us in most situations. We're doing a few fleets that have just put trucks into service that now want this that didn't know about it. But yeah, this truck has really come a long ways with the extended cab. It's a low roof too. So if you're building dump trucks or logging trucks, you don't have to deal with that high roof like the previous 389 had a really high like ultra cab 
high roof on it. So this is more like a unibuilt low roof. I think it looks way better. There's plenty of headroom in there. All right, thanks for watching my video.